I'm so excited about this. With Thanksgiving this Thursday, many of you might be nervous about the conversations that will be had during the dinner table. Mm -hmm. We are living in a world of disagreement and the turkey talk can get to be really intense, don't you think? Absolutely. But there's an amazing piece of televised entertainment that is bringing the entire world together. It is a masterpiece called Slippery Stairs. We love it so much. It's the most amazing. So it is a Japanese game show that has recently gone insanely viral. It's simple, it's challenging, it's fun to watch. It really has it all. So here's what they're doing. Those stairs, as you would probably guess, are very slippery. <laughs> and so it's literally just them trying to race to the top. But it mm -hmm. is, look at how close Red Guy is. Okay, he is getting he, there. He is getting he there. He seems like he's probably he's, They have to get to the top pick. of the stairs. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> The first part is that, like a lot of them. I think this is the one. So they'll get really close, and the other guys will sabotage yeah. them. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he went right through his legs. Good job, yellow That's guy. Great. Or they'll try. Like if they're falling, they'll pull everybody down. I would with too. Them. I would yeah, too. If I'm going strategy. down, you're all going down with me. You have to. Whoa, whoa, see, look here he goes. See, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's, got the, of them. he's got his feet out apart. He's like this is like bowling. I love this so much. Okay, so many people wonder why it hasn't made it to our part of the world yet. GQ wrote about the game show, saying they can see it now. <laughs> Slippery. <laughs> I love it, I love it, I love so it. Good. Take him down. Oh. Yes. Slippery Stairs hosted by Chris Hardwick. Can't you see it, Natalie? Yes. Twitter users are, are expressing nothing but love for the game show. One user saying that it deserves an award for best drama. Others simply just say they can't stop thinking about Slippery Stairs. And we love it so much. I love this. We don't even want this show anymore. We just we want to do Slippery stairs. stairs. That's all we want in the world. I just want to watch the video. I mean, the guy literally tackled the other guy. Oh, yeah. He's like, you are not getting to you're the top. Not, and I am taking you down, yes, and we're all going we're down. All go Everybody's going down. I love it so much. I know. I wonder what it's they so covered simple. the stairs with. We're trying to figure we trying that to figure out. out. The whole time. Crisco, maybe? I don't know. Yeah. But, like, you can't even dig your, like, fingernails no. in there to get mm -mm. up. But the it's top. safe. It's safe too, because they're all wearing pads and stuff. It's so we were talking about, you know, those gym fail videos yes. where it's like people getting hurt at the gym. I can't watch them because they make me. Because they actually laugh get at them, but well, they actually get hurt. Right, and I don't like that. No, it, I like it when it's good, clean falls. <laughs> <laughs> no one gets hurt. They had Nobody helmets hit, on. They had knee pads on. Yeah. I can handle it if somebody falls. If I know that they're going to be safe. Yes. yes. But I don't like There's the some, gym fail ones because mm -mm. they're not. And people laugh when people like trip and fall right you know if they see a video or see somebody fall right I never laugh I'm I don't. always terrified for them me too yes and people laugh there's nothing funny with somebody's yeah. falls but if you are in a rubber yellow suit with yes. a helmet on yes. and knee pads and elbow pads and yes. you're going up some stairs yes that are slicked over yeah and you fall that's funny Absolutely. I'm okay. all for it. Well, if you're not sure that your family wants to talk about slippery stairs for your entire Thanksgiving feast, so do. we, we have do. a few tips for navigating your conversations. Right. These come from Sharon Schweitzer. She's the founder of Protocol and Etiquette Worldwide. Here's her first tip. Play it safe. Yeah. Sports, right. movies, holiday plans, neutral conversation starters that won't provoke a heated debate. If someone brings up a sensitive subject, say something along the lines of, that's an interesting point. But in the spirit of the holiday, let's avoid discussing that at the table. Have you ever That's, had to do that? Uh, no. Do no. you just argue? Have you ever argued at the dinner table? Oh, yes. Oh. But not about politics. No. It's usually about family affairs. Oh. <laughs> okay, next tip, select seats carefully. If you're hosting an event, consider a seating arrangement to avoid the age-old disputes between cousin Nancy and Uncle Ned. Yeah, that's right. You Nancy, know? she's fierce. Cinema, I accidentally, for my wedding, I totally forgot it had been a long time, mm -hmm. but I sat one of my very good friends next to another very good friend, mm -hmm. and I didn't think anything of it. I thought, oh, these two, whatever, they'll get along. Yeah. I forgot that they had dated a couple years oh, before that. Oh, and you put them right next to each other? They're right mm -hmm. next to each mm -hmm. other. And they both like separately came up to me, and they were like, hey, thanks a lot for seating. And I, I completely forgot. So use your memory. Mm -hmm. And then if you need a list of the taboo topics that you should keep off the table this holiday season, she has a list. It includes politics, religion, right. and prying questions. Right. So like, when are you two having children? Right. Don't, Don't do ask that, that. To people. So are you going to Are you ever going to get married? Ever ask the question? Yes. Right. Yeah. No, 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 no. Don't ask those questions. Okay. 
Do it. Well, you most likely have a long holiday break starting tomorrow, so let's start planning for the long weekend. Absolutely. Here are just a few of the events happening in our area from our friends at City Magazine. First up, move your feet so others can eat at the Drumstick Dash Family 5K Walk and Run. This is the 12th year for the annual event. On Thanksgiving Day, join over 13,000 walkers and runners who are all moving their feet so others can eat. All proceeds benefit the Roanoke Rescue Mission. To register and find out more, visit Drumstack drumstick-dot-net. All right, shop local this holiday season and join the fun for Small Business Saturday in downtown Roanoke. Many of your favorite downtown retailers are running great sales and promotions for Small Business Saturday. For participating businesses and parking information, visit downtownroanokeshopping.com. Yeah, help raise money for the United Way of the Roanoke Valley by attending Fashions for Evergreens. This unique tree competition features more than 35 professionally designed trees this event runs from Thanksgiving Day to New Year's Day and is free and open to the public. You are just asked to vote monetarily for your favorite tree. In total, this event has raised more than $25,000 for the organization. Visit HotelRoanoke.com for more information. And take a trip with your family to enjoy a Christmas adventure at Millstone Creek Orchards. They have a Christmas hayride that takes visitors on a trail that is beautifully lit with thousands of lights to help celebrate the Christmas season. Enjoy holiday movies, s'mores, and apple cider donuts. Visit Santa and Mrs. Claus and decorate Christmas cookies. Log on to MillstoneCreekOrchards.com to learn more. And for more on these and other great events happening around the region, pick up your copy of City Magazine on newsstands now. Mm -hmm. and there